I recently died in hardcore Minecraft, losing my 2300 day world. So today I start back up with nothing, on a quest to make the best hardcore Minecraft world I possibly can. I have a lot planned for this series, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Welcome to my brand new hardcore world. Wow, I am incredibly poor right now, and there already seems to be a forest fire. Yeah, we're off to a great start, aren't we? Wait a minute, why did I just craft full wooden tools? Oh my god. Okay, that's much better. Ooh, is that a... Wait, what are those things called again? Uh... Oh, it's a broken portal, that's right. Come on, please give me a golden apple. Oh, that... Really? How many flint and steels does one man need? Man, it feels so weird being in a brand new world. I feel like I have so much to do. But all this running around has got me working up a bit of an appetite. <clears throat> Oh, I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry I can't even run. Yeah, it's kind of like me in real life, I guess. I think I'm gonna head this way because that biome is gross looking. I don't know what it is. Everything just looks so dead and dull over there. So hopefully there's something good up this way. Oh, oh my God. There's a village right there. See, this is why you don't set up in Savannah biomes. They're just bad. You guys enjoying the village too? Do you guys have any bookshelves for me? Yo, where are you going, man? This guy is actually trying to run away from me. The disrespect to your new visitors. Yo, people of the village. What's going on? Where'd y'all go? Surely you guys have some chests around here, don't you? Ooh, I found some bookshelves. I'll take these. And the sun is setting. That is not a good sign. I have absolutely no bed. I'm sure you guys won't mind if I just uh, <clears throat> come in here and take a little nap really quick. Thanks, guys. Oh, sorry, guys. I promise I'm just borrowing this all <clears throat> i promise thank you guys for the bread and i'll be on my way i'll be back don't you forget it looks like there's a jungle biome over here which i actually never have ever built a base in a jungle before so maybe today we should change that <clears throat> actually i really still don't want to build in a jungle but i will take some of the melons from here i'm pretty sure that this place is actually just one big giant island which is kind of cool but i have no idea where i want to set up a base and i already have a full inventory i just realized i have no armor and and no totems of undying so if something hurts me i'm probably going to die so i think i'm going to head underground to grab some iron to craft into armor And now that I have a full set of iron armor, I feel like I can actually survive in this world and now I can actually explore the cave without worrying about dying <gasps> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I found our first diamond. Please tell me there's more than just one of you. Oh, this is not what I wanted to run into right now. Yo, baby zombies really scare me though. Come on, please give me like an eight vein of diamonds. Oh, is that, is that it? Wait, seriously? Oh my, oh, but there's another one over there. Hey man, I need you to back off a little bit here. This is my diamond. Oh, we found another. This one actually had two of them. Yo, get out of here, man. And while I'm down here, I'm also going to grab a little bit of deep slate because I think I want to use it in my house, which I haven't even started planning out yet. I guess I should probably get to that at some point. Oh, there's more diamonds down here. I'm sorry. I get a little too excited over these. Okay. I think it's time for me to get out of this cave and go build a base because uh, I'm kind of homeless right now. And I'm already extremely lost down in this cave. Why does this always happen to me? Wait, hold up. I'm pretty sure I see a mob spawner up here. Yes. Please tell me there's golden apples. Oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, not golden apples. What kind of sick joke is this, man? Finally, I was really stuck down there for a few days. But now that I got a lot of the starting materials that I need, I should probably start setting up a base. But I have one little problem here. I don't have any of the materials that I need to build a house with. So let me go fix that. Okay, I think now I have enough oak wood for the house. Maybe a little too much oak wood. But something that I really want to use in my house is spruce wood. I'm literally addicted to it. So I'm gonna do my best at finding somewhere where there's any spruce trees because around here, there's just an ugly savanna. I don't think anybody likes this biome. It's just terrible looking. I'm gonna craft a few more axes. I think I'm probably just going to run until I can find a spruce biome. Ooh, but there's actually a ton of bamboo in this jungle. So I'm gonna try to grab some of this. But most importantly, we need to find a spruce biome and why are there birch trees everywhere? Oh my, it's literally like I'm surrounded by all the worst wood types in Minecraft. All I want is oak and spruce wood. Is that too much to ask? Oh my God, finally, you guys don't even even want to know how long I spent looking for spruce wood. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm going to grab a ton of this and make sure that I get plenty of saplings to bring back home with me. 
And now that I've got all the wood I could ever need, I can start building the frame for my house, which is gonna go somewhere right around here, right after I move some of this dirt. Hopefully this will be big enough to keep all my diamonds. Yeah, I only have three diamonds right now, so I don't think it's gonna be a problem. And because I'm so poor, I'm probably gonna be using a lot of wood for this. Uh, wait, why don't I have a shield equipped? You guys are already visiting me on episode one? Are you serious right now? That was actually a little too close. And now the main shell of the house is fully complete. Yeah, I didn't really think of how expensive this house would be. I've been using a lot of wood. And I'm not exactly sure what I want to do for the roof just yet. But I really love how slabs and spruce trap doors look together. So... Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. But now I have a lot of decorating to do. And I'm pretty happy with how the house is coming along. Except I have so many windows, so that means I'm gonna need glass. And I don't think I have any sand. Yeah, 17 sand is not gonna cut it. So let me just craft a few shovels. And let's go find a desert. Because I really don't want to destroy this little beach right next to my house. Wait a minute. You're telling me there's a desert that close to my house? I was prepared to start looking for hours for a desert. Okay, that should be more than enough sand. And now the house is actually fully complete. I just have to move everything in, which isn't very much just yet. So up here is where I'm going to keep some of my chests. And I can also store some extra chests over here. And then over here, I can add in a smelting room. And then over here, I can make this room my bedroom. And I think I'm going to dye my beds blue. And now I just have to add some extra decorations into the inside. But I think now my house is actually complete. It has plenty of storage, a place to smell all my ores because I'm rich. And it even has an extra room right over here, which I'm probably going to fill with an enchanting setup once I get one. And now that my house is complete, I just have one thing left to add. There we go. And now the house is complete. And although I have this super nice house now, I have basically no food. So I think I'm going to try to plant some of the wheat seeds that I have. And hopefully then we can get some bread. And I think I even have some bones that we can craft into bone meal. So this way we don't even have to wait for the bread. Man, I always forget how good life is. And I forgot. We also have a bunch of fish living right next to our house. Hey guys, you enjoying your Monday afternoon so far? There's so many salmon here. And now I have plenty of food. And something that I really need around here is more diamonds. So I'm going to craft myself a diamond pickaxe and some torches. And hopefully I won't die. I mainly need lots of redstone, iron, and gold for some of the projects I'm going to be working on. But I'm also going to need a ton of coal. And of course, diamonds. Oh, I think I found a cave. Well, this place is massive. Oh, come on. There's so many zombies already. Guys, stop. You guys are not going to ruin my chances of finding diamonds today. Oh my goodness, I am not going this way. Why are there so many skeletons over there? Think I'm going to head this way instead. Oh my god, there's so many creepers over here. Guys, I just need some diamonds. Please tell me this is an eight vein. Come on, give me all the diamonds in the world. Okay. Why were there only two of you here? Hey, I really get way too excited over these guys. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It was just another one vein. Oh, never mind. Whoa, my goodness. Okay. I love when creepers blow themselves up like that. Man, I always see these stupid vines and think that they're diamonds. And then once I get closer, I get really sad. I think that's enough mining for today. I almost died like five times down there. And now all I want to do is sleep and not get blown up by a creeper. Uh, I really need to use your bed. I'm sorry. Sorry, bro. Oh, there's still zombies out here. But I do see some wheat over here I can grab. Thank you. Man, these villagers are so friendly. They just let me take all their wheat. Wait, how did I end up back in the savanna? Uh, I promise I'm not actually lost. There's actually a really nice lava pool right there. I guess this biome isn't all that bad. Because now I can actually grab some obsidian. 
And now I just have to find where I built my house. And then using the books that I stole from the village, I should be able to craft an enchanting table. And I should probably also upgrade my sword because it's pretty much broken. And I'm kind of poor right now, so I can only afford three bookshelves, but I guess that'll have to do. And I'm going to throw some very basic enchants onto these guys. Okay, actually, eh, it's not that good. But once we get some more XP levels and more bookshelves, we can get much better enchants. Well, for episode one, we actually got done a ton of work today. I have some pretty decent tools and armor, a huge starter house, and we're even really close by to a village. Uh, where's the village? It should be somewhere over there. Hey, villagers, where'd you all go? Oh, no, there's a creeper at the village. No, 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 no. That could have been really bad. Yo, Iron Golems, you guys got to do your job. This is unacceptable. Hey, man, I know I stayed with you last night, but do you mind if I just uh, move in here and take a nap really quick? Thanks, man. Oh, he doesn't seem so happy with me. Wait a minute. Did I miss a blacksmith house over here and a church with a brewing stand? You guys have anything in here for me? Oh my gosh. Wait, this isn't a blacksmith, is it? Where's your chest of goodies? Well, at least I got this brewing stand. That's pretty cool, right? This world actually has so much jungle to explore. In the next couple episodes, we're going to be doing a lot of exploring and building and progressing our world to be the best hardcore series you've ever seen. It is actually going to get kind of crazy, I promise. But on that note, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and please be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the future episodes because in the next video i'm probably going to be sorting out my food situation because uh, i i do not want to starve in this world well i guess on that note i'll see you guys in the next video I recently started a new world, which means I don't have any food. So today I'm going to be changing that by building every single food farm in Minecraft Hardcore. Starting with basic crops all the way up to golden carrots. So the first farm I have to start out with is definitely some crops like wheat, carrots, and potatoes. And since it's only episode 2, I'm going to need to grab some materials really quick. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. That actually could have been really bad. Trust me, guys. I'm a trained professional. I know exactly what I'm doing. And after around two and a half hours of collecting materials, this should be everything I need to build these crop farms. And I also got a few enchanted books and some diamonds while I was mining. So I think I'm going to upgrade some of my tools. Now I just have to find a place to build the first farms. I think right over here is probably the perfect area to start building. So now we can get started on building the crop collection system, where the villagers are going to drop crops into a hopper system that funnels all the way into my chests. And now I can start building the platform that I'm going to be planting all the crops on. Okay, so I've just set up each four of these quadrants, and each one is going to have a different villager with a different crop. So this one will be wheat, carrots, potato, and this one will be beetroot. And I still don't have any beetroot seeds. Maybe I should go see if the villagers have any of those. Hey guys, you guys have any beetroot seeds? Come on, I know they're here somewhere. I don't even think these guys have a farm at all. Alright, well that's not very good, is it? Yeah, I'm going to have to come back to that. But for now, I can fill up the farm with the other three crops. And now I have to place some building blocks so that the villagers don't escape. Uh, I mean, so they don't get confused. And we are... Oh, wait, I forgot a side. Oh, that's awkward. Wait a minute. I need a lightning rod. I guess this should keep them from getting turned into witches if they get struck by lightning, because that would be kind of bad. And there we go. And we're done. Mm, actually, not really. All right, who wants to come harvest crops for me? I think they're excited. I should probably try to get one of these guys in a boat first. Hello, does anybody want to come with me? Why are they just looking at me like that? Guys, come on. I promise it's going to be a good time. Okay. Wow, this game really hates me. But we're just about finished with the first crop farm. So now if... Oh, let me just fix that. So now if we break all the minecarts, the villagers should start farming. Hopefully. When the villagers get crops, they should drop them off to this guy. But secretly, I intercept the crops in these hoppers, which then falls into my hopper chest system. I guess this is kind of mean. And after building this insane crop farm, I'm already running out of food. So let's go see if the villagers made me any crops just yet. Whoa. Well, it looks like you guys have been working. And now I have an unlimited supply of crops just from running around my world. Haha. <laughs> I love automating things, but I think we can do a little better. So now I think we should start working on some of the harder, more complicated farms to give myself an even better food source. Yeah, what can I say? I just really hate doing manual labor. Ah, uh, but for one of the materials, I'm gonna need quartz. That is not ideal. I don't even think I have good enough armor to go into the nether right now. Uh, 
Oh, that's much better. Oh, hopefully I'm not on a cliff. Okay, actually, this is not too bad at all. I'm gonna make sure I keep my coordinates. And this is exactly... Oh, jeez, that is not supposed to happen. Oh, do you guys see why I hate the nether now? But this right here is exactly what we need for the chicken farm. Because I kind of need quartz to craft redstone comparators. I'm actually super happy with where my portal spawned in because for once, I'm not in a super dangerous position. Whoa, my man. Let's chill out a little bit, okay? Oh, it, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh, hey, it looks like there's some more biomes up here. And maybe I could even find another fortress. Whoa. Oh, that is a big drop down. Ooh, I forgot how cool this biome looks. Except there's so many things in here that want to kill me. I actually really hate the nether. Aw, oh, man, I really wish I could find a fortress around here. But I'm going to be honest, I don't really want to run through the nether without any enchantments on my armor. Yeah, I just really don't feel like dying on episode two. But I think this should be more than enough quartz for some redstone comparators. So I'm ready to get out of here before something kills me. And there we go. And this should be everything I need to build some chicken farms. Uh, I forgot hoppers. Please tell me I have them somewhere in here. Oh, thank goodness. I genuinely don't know how I haven't run out of iron just yet. That was super easy to build, and now I have unlimited chicken nuggets. There's, um, <clears throat> there's no chickens in there. Yeah, I, I completely knew that. I did. I did. Hey, chickens, you guys want to come hang out? Oh, here we go. Come on, Mr. Chicken. I got something special for you. I just got to move you in here. Oh, what? now I just got to give you a little push in here. There we go. You stay right there. Let me go see if I can find you a little friend. Aha! Yep, just come with me right this way. There we go. So the idea of the farm is that these chickens lay eggs that go into this dispenser, which automatically shoots out baby chickens right here. And when they grow up, they turn into delicious chicken nuggets for me. And just to make sure that I'm getting the maximum amount of chicken nuggets possible, I'm gonna build four more of these. So now I'm pretty much the king of chicken. And it looks like the farms are already starting to produce me some chicken nuggets. But we still have a few more food farms to build before we get to the best food source in all of Minecraft. And no, it's not cake. I was pretty sad when I found that out too. And I'm gonna need to gather a lot of materials for this next farm. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need some of these rails and minecarts and a ton of dirt and wood and even some redstone. And the next food source that I'm gonna be automating is steak. I mean, come on, who doesn't like steak? And this farm will also give me plenty of leather, which is another resource that I really need if I wanna be able to enchant my tools and armor. And I think right over here is the perfect spot to build this farm. Let me just... Uh, <clears throat> break a few pieces of dirt over here. Whoa, 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 everybody, let's talk about this. Hold up. Oh, no. Why are there so many of you? I really need to get myself some totems. What the heck are you doing out here? How is this guy not burning? I don't understand. It's literally daytime. And I just remembered that I actually need dispensers for this farm. Hopefully, I have more than just four string. And it doesn't look like I have any string. Yeah, that's not good. But I think I might have an idea. I'm pretty sure that I can use wool to craft string. Uh, that's not string. Wait, I could have sworn I could craft string. Or maybe it's just that string can craft wool. So I guess that means we're gonna have to go find some spiders. And I really don't want to go down there. But I will grab this coal because I'm basically already out of this. Actually, there is a mine shaft down there, which means we can probably find spiders pretty easily. No way there's a spawner right here. I don't feel like actually fighting the spiders. I just want to take all their string because uh, <clears throat> I'm very lazy, okay? Oh my god, there's so many spawners. No, 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 no. I do not want to get poisoned. Oh, I just got poisoned. No! Oh, come on, eat more chicken nuggets. Oh, Oh, that could have ended badly. Oh, I just got bit by another one. Okay, I think this should probably be enough string. At least I really hope it is because I don't like being down here very much. And great, it looks like I'm lost. And now I should have plenty of string to craft all the bows. Oh my god, that is a lot of bows. I'm going to craft a ton of dispensers. And now finally I can get back to building the farm. Now we need to add cows to the farm. And there's literally none over here. Wait, there's literally no cows anywhere. Dude, what the heck? Yeah, I think I might have killed all the cows over here. Uh, hopefully the village has some cows that I can steal. Because I'm getting really desperate. I literally killed off the entire cow population in my world. This isn't good. Oh, that is one beautiful cow. I'm guessing that you lovely folks want to come with me. That actually took me way too long. And now you guys just have to come up this way. Come on in, guys. There we go. Now you just need a little push to get in here. Come on. Wait, how did I even fall down here? And now I think the cow farm is complete. I just have to keep breeding these guys up here. And then the baby cow will fall down here. And when they grow up, they'll be melted by lava, which I actually forgot to add into the farm. And I almost forgot to add in the redstone. 
And now if I put a button right on this block right here, I'm pretty sure the lava should activate. There we go. So hopefully this thing will make us a ton of steak. And now that I've got some of the basic food farms out of the way, I can start working on an automated golden carrot farm. And for this farm, we're gonna need some villagers. And I remembered that I trapped you guys in here for a reason. Basically, I need you guys to repopulate the entire village. Whoa, there's actually a line to get in here. What the heck? Oh, it looks like it worked. But in the meantime, I should probably get started on the farm, which is going to go somewhere right over here. But before we can actually trade villagers out, what the? But before we can actually trade villagers for golden carrots, we need something to give them because we kind of need to make some emeralds. And yes, this is going to be another food farm. In the last episode, I was able to get some melons and pumpkins. So I'm going to work on a giant farm that'll turn these guys into emeralds. But now that the melon farm is complete, and it looks like we're already starting to get quite a few in our chest. And now I'm just going to try and make this farm look a little bit nicer. And now that the melon farm is fully complete, I can get started on building our automatic golden carrot farm. And I've already cleared some land for it to go right over here. So I'm going to start by building the frame for the actual farm itself. And now that I've just finished up the building that the farm is going to go inside of, I can start gathering some villagers to move into the farm. And before I do that, I'm just going to add a little bit of decorations into the building in here so that way it looks a little bit nicer. Come on, man. I know you want this job. Come with me. And now if I just trick him into thinking that he's going to have a job. Wait, 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 wait. Come back this way. There we go. I can slowly lead these villagers over to my farm. Bro, do not go near my villagers. That just took me so long to get all them in there. But now that the villagers are finally all moved in, and I don't think there's any way that they can escape, I can start trading with them to work my way up to golden carrot trades and then this is going to be the most efficient golden carrot farm you've ever seen so what kind of things do you want for some emeralds guys beetroots oh i forgot i was supposed to get beetroots but it looks like we can trade wheat and carrots for a lot of these guys and i added in two fletching tables so that way we can trade sticks for emeralds which is another really easy way to get rich but for now i'm just going to go grab all the crops that i possibly can to sell to these guys i've been trading for a little while and it looks like one of these guys wait where'd you go one of these guys finally unlocked the melon trade so i'm pretty sure i just have to craft a bunch of melons and he's already out of stock are you serious and what the heck is going on over there this guy's almost leveled up to being able to buy golden carrots please please just buy my melons And now we finally have a golden carrot trade, which will give us a ton of golden carrots. We already just got 36 from one villager. So if we continue to upgrade all these guys, we should get enough to have plenty of golden carrot trades. Oh, we can even buy cakes. Oh, maybe I bought a few too many cakes. There we go. There's another golden carrot trade. Oh, this one's actually really good. For six emeralds, you get three golden carrots. There we go. The more melon trades, the better. And we have so many emeralds now, and our golden carrot collection is going up. So with all the farms that I've built today and the villager trading system, I can now get a replenishable source of golden carrots just by running around in my world. As long as these farms are loaded in, I'll be getting plenty of things that I can trade to the villagers for golden carrots, which basically means that I'll have an unlimited supply of golden carrots. I'm literally never going to run out of food in this world. And another great resource that the farms have given me is a bunch of leather. So now I can actually go make some books and properly enchant all of my armor. Because since I traded a lot with the villagers, I got tons of XP. So... And now I can work on enchanting all of my armor. Okay, I really just need some good enchantments, please. Okay, protection three. I'll take it. Another unbreaking three. Let's try it. Ooh. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Ooh. That is really good. And for the boots, uh, oh, that's actually really not too bad. I could use some feather falling, but I'll take it for now. And I still have 49 levels. So I think I'm going to unenchant my sword and see what other enchants I can get. Oh, geez, that's really bad. What the heck are those enchants? Are you serious right now? All right, hopefully this time we'll get something. Oh, that's, uh, <clears throat> That's absolutely terrible. Please give me sharpness. I'm gonna take it. I don't feel like doing any more enchanting right now. And now I've had a full gear upgrade with full enchanted diamond armor, enchanted diamond tools, and unlimited golden carrots. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of the series. I have some really big upcoming projects that I wanna do in this world, but for a lot of them, I'm going to need slime balls. So today I built an epic slime farm all inside of an alien UFO equipped with a test lab and alien artifacts. So first things first, I'm going to need to find a swamp so that way I can build this slime farm. And I'm literally just surrounded by savanna and jungle biomes. Nice. Uh, wait a minute. I don't have an elytra, do I? Oh my gosh, I forgot I had to start a new world. Ah. <sighs>
I guess we're doing this the old fashioned way, aren't we? But first I'm gonna need to gather a few materials including a ton of concrete, iron, and some redstone. Finally a swamp. I have been in this boat for far too long. There's even frogs here. Yo, what's up my G? Oh, alright, it doesn't look like he wants to talk to me. But now that I finally found myself a swamp, I should be able to get started on building the slime farm. Which I'm actually gonna be turning into a big alien UFO. This is gonna be pretty sick. There's still so many frogs here. Hey guys, this area is under construction, I'm gonna- What? Uh, alright, I don't think I'm gonna get them to leave anytime soon, am I? But now all I have to do is just make a big flat area so that I can build the UFO. <clears throat> I mean slime farm. So my plan is to build a slime farm that is going to be transformed into an alien UFO, complete with tons of details and artifacts left over from aliens. And I originally wanted to build this thing up in the sky, but slimes can't spawn over level 70. So I guess I won't be needing these guys anymore. That's kind of sad. And instead I can get started by outlining the slime farm. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, I need to get away from this guy. Guy. I'm just gonna totally block myself in here. Is he gone? Please tell me this guy's gone. Oh my god, he's not. I don't know why I thought that would work. Oh my god, there's two of them in there. What the heck do you think you guys are doing? No. And now the slime farm is fully complete. So I should probably get out of here before any slime starts spawning in because that- Oh, jeez. What the heck is going on out here? Did that seriously just happen? And I can't even sleep? Now I need to find a way to get rid of these guys. Oh my god, he literally sees me from up here. Do you see the damage you've already caused to me? And why are you outside of my farm? Okay, I really need to place some torches down. But now since I got rid of all the creepers and the farm is complete, I can start building the UFO which is going to go around the farm. And honestly this farm is kind of small, so I should probably start by building a bigger circle outline. And that is one perfect circle. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about either. But this should be definitely be- Ooh, oh. But this should definitely be big enough to build an alien spaceship and I'm just starting to realize now that I built this whole thing out of dirt. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna have to go through and replace all of this with this dark gray concrete now. And I'm also going to build a wall here with this gray concrete which is going to be the outer wall for the spaceship. And now that all the walls are built up for the UFO, I should really probably build a base on the bottom of this. Because I don't really want a hole in my spaceship. That would be kind of bad, wouldn't it be? I really hope that I have enough of this stuff. Because if I run out, I have a really long journey home. Yeah, at this point I probably should have just made a concrete farm. And I'm out of white concrete. Yeah, I did not think that that was going to last me very long. And that means now I'm going to have to head all the way back to my base. But on the bright side, this is actually starting to look a little bit like a UFO. Unless this is a crazy village, I think I've spotted my base. Imagine this is actually just a village. And now I'm just going to have to go craft a bunch of concrete. Wait a minute. I forgot I had all this concrete powder here. Well, that, uh, that makes my life a lot easier, doesn't it? And now I just have to make all of this into concrete blocks. Man, this build has actually taken me a lot of materials. And I think now that I have an absolute ton of concrete, this should be just enough enough to finish building the UFO. At least I really, really hope so. Oh, we actually have some turtles over here. Do you guys want to live in a spaceship? Nope. I'll take that as a yes, I'll be back. And now that I've got all the concrete in the world, I can finally finish building the base of the UFO. And now that the base of the spacecraft is done, it's really starting to come together. And we can even run around in here. But that means that we should probably start working on the roof of this thing. I think I kind of want to make a big dome in here. Because uh, the aliens definitely need to see where they're going. And before I can start placing any glass, I should probably add another layer of blocks so that we have some more texture into the UFO. So now that I've got a great setup for the UFO, I can start filling the inside with an alien test lab. And even a section for aliens to study things that they find on Earth. So I'm going to need to head back to my base to grab some things. And... Where is my boat? I could have sworn I left it right here. Hey, did you guys take my boat? Come on, hand it over. Where is my boat? Honestly, I don't trust these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Uh, turns out I found my boat. And to decorate the inside of the UFO, I'm going to want to grab some quartz, glass, item frames, flower pots, iron, and even a bunch of plants for the aliens to study on their ship. And I'm pretty curious to see if the slime farm has produced any slime balls just yet. Because I've been here for quite a while, and actually, we've got almost a 
stack and a half of slimes, which is actually really great because I'm going to need to use some of those for the science lab, which I can start building right now. And the first thing I'm going to start building is a big shelving unit that can hold a ton of equipment and even different specimens that are being studied. So over here are going to be different shelves and I can even add these item frames. So that way the aliens can study dirt and even some slime blocks. And this section is gonna hold different plants. Oh my God. Yeah, if this guy explodes, my farm is literally gonna be toast. How did you even get into my farm? And this section right over here is going to hold some different kinds of potions. And I can add these flower pots on top to make these look like jars. And of course I have to make sure that I label them with slime, slime potions. And now that I have a big storage unit for all of the different components, I can start working on the next part of the science lab. And first I'm gonna build some laboratory tables with equipment to take closer looks at different types of organisms. And yes, I realized that was probably a waste of iron, but who cares because it looks really cool. And over on this side of the lab, I think I'm going to add in some test tubes <clears throat> because aliens probably need to study chickens and stuff. And I'm going to connect these two together with some slime blocks. And right about here, I can add it in a control panel that I can hook up using some redstone. And I guess I should also probably add in some areas for the aliens to do some tests on some things like lava and water and how they can make cobblestone. Okay, I really need to sleep and make it through the night. I guess that's what I get for not having any light sources in here. If this guy blows up my spaceship, I'm going to be really upset. Get the heck out. Thank you. I don't know why creepers always want to mess with me, but it just kind of happens in every single Minecraft world I've ever had. But I think I also want to add in a microscope right over here because I feel like every single science lab probably needs one of those. And I should also probably add a slime ball into the microscope. I don't know why I just broke that chest. But now the science lab is full of all different types of things for the aliens to conduct experiments on. There's plenty of plants from Earth and slime balls everywhere. And I almost just forgot that we kind of need to add a dome onto this UFO. Because if we don't, all of the science lab is just going to spill out into space. And for the dome, I'm going to need to gather a ton of glass. So let me just run back to the base. So as far as sand and glass goes, I don't have very much. And the only green dye I have, I already used on this glass. And my shovel is literally half broken. Please tell me I have a diamond somewhere. Please tell me. Okay. These are the only two diamonds I have left, aren't they? Ugh. And I'm literally wasting them on a shovel. I better get the best enchants ever on this guy. I'm actually shocked I was able to get that. And I'm also going to need a ton of cactus so that way I can make the dye that I need to craft the glass. Where the heck am I going to find cactus? Hello? Do you guys have any cactus here? I mean, I, I mean, there's a possibility, right? There's literally not even a desert near me. How the heck am I going to find a bunch of cactus? Oh, sorry. I'm just really excited to see some cactus at this point. And wait a second. Oh, I think we found a desert temple. What can we find in here? I'm really hoping for a nice juicy golden apple in one of these chests. Oh, oh. I am way too excited over that right now. No way. Two golden apples in one temple. Oh my gosh, this is the best day of my life. And thank you very much for this. I will be putting this to good use. What are the chances that I can actually get two golden apples from one desert temple? That's got to be like a 0. .0000001 chance. And now I just got to collect a ton of this cactus. And a bunch of sand. This should definitely be all the limestone glass I need to build this roof. I don't know why I left before sleeping, but I'm just going to roll with it. Hopefully we don't get killed by a drown, but I'm just going to give it my best shot at building a big dome that goes all around the lab. And I've never actually built a dome in Minecraft before, so I'm a little nervous and hopefully I don't mess this up. And by the way, this better be enough glass because there's no way I'm going to find more cactus. Oh no, we have some invaders down there in the lab. Yeah, this is not good. Let me sleep really quick. Please go away. I'm just gonna pretend I don't see them and hopefully they go away. What the heck this dude is shooting at me? All right, buddy, you cannot be in my science lab. Get out of here. What is this? <sighs> I finally finished this dome. Okay, that actually took me like an hour and I barely even have any of this glass left, which just goes to show how many blocks this thing took. And because I have some leftover, I think I'm going to fill in some of this area down here because it looks kind of bad just like this. And the UFO is actually starting to look really cool right now, but there's still a lot of details that I want to add. I think if I add a nice ring of slabs all the way around the spaceship, it would look really, really cool. 
And now I think the UFO is fully complete. This thing actually looks insane. And I gotta say, the science lab I built is pretty sick. But probably the best part of this entire build is that it actually makes me slime balls. And a really good amount of them. Which is gonna make getting materials for a lot of future projects really easy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Everyone these days has netherite beacons and unlimited totems in their hardcore worlds. So today I'm going to spend the next 24 hours getting as rich as possible in my hardcore world. I'll have to explore tons of different structures for loot, get the strongest tools and armor, and build the most OP farms to give me unlimited totems and ores. And if I have any shot at making it through these next 24 hours, I'm going to need to get myself an elytra. Let me just... And thank you for that. And now I just have to find myself an end ship somewhere. And the good thing is that there should be lots of loot in the end cities, which is just going to help me get rich. That is if I could find an end city to begin with. Oh, please tell me there's a ship attached to this. And it doesn't look like there's a ship attached. Okay, well, at least I have a water bucket. So if one of these guys shoots me up into the air, ah, and I just got stuck by one of these guys. But there definitely should be some loot up here, so I should probably search for some chests. That is if I can stop getting hit by these shulkers. And we made it to the chests, finally. Okay, we got some gold and some nice diamond leggings. And there's only one way to get down from one of these things, is there? Ooh, imagine if I missed that, but uh, I don't miss. So since we didn't find an elytra there, I guess we're just gonna have to keep searching more end cities. And hopefully I can get a bunch of shulker boxes and fill up my entire inventory with loot. And there we go, another end city. And luckily this one actually has a ship, so I should be able to get an elytra. That is if these shulkers can leave me alone. Can you guys please stop? Well, I guess this is one easy way to get to the top of the towers, where there should be some more loot. Wait, what? Are you serious? What the heck kind of chest is that? Please tell me this one has diamonds. More more beetroot seeds, why? But at least I got a diamond sword and some more gold. And I think now I should be able to craft myself my very first shulker box. So that way I can hold a lot more loot. Can you please stop? Why is there a sword in here with Bane of Arthropods? Do you think anyone wants that? I should also probably try to get a bunch of shulker shells while I'm here. So that way we can get unlimited shulker boxes. That is if I can even get through some of these guys. And it actually might be a good thing that I just got a diamond chest plate because mine is kind of broken. And now I just need to see if I can make it onto this ship. Thank you. And now I can finally get myself an elytra. Ah. Yeah, I've been waiting for this moment. And don't tell me there's more beetroot seeds in here. What? Ah. And I forgot fireworks, didn't I? <clears throat> so the elytra is kind of useless right now. And after I was finished looting a bunch of end cities, this is all of the loot I was able to get. And since a lot of my armor started to break, I think I'm going to swap it out for some new pieces of armor. And I think I'm even going to enchant myself a brand new diamond helmet. If only it had them breaking. And I probably should combine these to make prot 4 leggings, shouldn't I? And I even have myself an elytra. Even though I don't have any rockets just yet. Wait, I'm sorry. What is going on out here? Go away. And I also want to re-enchant my diamond pickaxe and see if I can get anything good. Ooh. Finally, we get some good enchants around here. And now my riches collection is really starting to come along, but it's not good enough yet. I don't have very much iron or gold at the moment. So I think it would be a really good idea to make myself an iron farm. But first, I really need to get some rockets so that way I can use my elytra. And I should probably get started on throwing together some materials that I'll need... And right about here should be the perfect place to build the iron farm because we're right next to a village. Wait a minute. Uh, I kind of did this wrong, didn't I? Which is really weird because I literally just built one of these. And if you haven't seen that video yet, go watch it. And hopefully I do have a name tag somewhere. Aha, there we go. Yep, that's perfect. And now I just have to find myself a Martin. And there's no zombies here. Hello there. What are you trying to do to Martin, man? Martin, my man. All right, come right this way, buddy. I've got a really special hot tub set up for you. And right this way. Ouch, Martin, don't do that. And you might need a little bit of a push, it looks like. And there we go. And now my farm just needs some villagers in it. Aha! I've been looking for you guys. And now I finally have myself a working iron farm. Ouch, that, uh, that kind of hurt. And it already looks like we're starting to get some iron, which is going to be really helpful for the next farm that's going to give me tons of gold and XP to make me even richer because I'm still kind of poor. And for this next farm, I'm also going to be needing a ton of stone, bamboo for scaffolding, and I'm also going to need an absolute ton of magma blocks. And now I've got three shulker boxes full of all the supplies I need so I can go start on building the gold farm. And I just remembered I'm going to have to go on top of the nether roof for this farm. I've literally only given myself one try to do this, so let's hope that this works. 
For once, I didn't suffocate inside the wall. I've actually had a few hardcore Minecraft deaths from that. I wish I was lying. And now I can get started on building the actual farm itself, which is hopefully going to give me a ton of gold and XP, because I kind of already used all of mine. And the first step into building this farm is to build the chest collection system, where I'll stand to get XP and all of the drops will go into. And now I have to build up this giant tunnel where the pigments are going to fall down. And it looks like we have our first pigmen. Hey buddy, I need you to come back in a few hours when I have this thing done. Sorry about that. And this next part is my absolute favorite part of building this farm. I'm not being serious. I have to come up here and place down hundreds of- Wait a minute. Can I please land this? This is gonna be a long day. And now I just have to add in some glass on both sides here to make sure that I don't lose any drops. And this farm should give me loads of gold and XP, which I'm going to be needing because this is the current state of my armor and tools. I don't even have a helmet anymore. <clears throat> yeah, that is not good. So to fix them, uh, oh, I still forgot to match up my portals together. Uh, that's kind of awkward. Ouch. Oh, okay. I think it's time for me to probably get out of here. Oh, there's even more around my base. What the heck? Oh my goodness. And since I have a new farm that'll provide me with tons of XP, I want to get a mending villager so that way all of my armor and tools can get repaired. Hey buddy. Hello there. I feel like you're looking for a new job. No. Okay. Let's try this again. Aha. I knew I could get you. And I'm going to build this guy a state of the art dirt house because I only want the best for my villagers. There we go. Hold on. Let me make this look a little bit less like a jail cell. There we go. And now I just have to get myself a mending trade. Finally. I was waiting so long for that. And now I can go repair all of my tools and armor. And now I've got a fresh set of tools and armor. Ugh, not this again. And if I'm going to be getting rich within these 24 hours, there's one thing that I'm missing. I only have four diamonds. That is, that's terrible. So I'm going to spend the next hour getting as many diamonds as I possibly can. Because if I want to be rich, I really need to grow my diamond collection. Now, where is there a cave around here? This looks like just a place. Ah! Go away! Please have diamonds, please have diamonds, please. There we go. And since I have fortune, hopefully I can get myself around a stack of diamonds from these. Wait a minute. There's no way I just got exactly a stack of diamonds. Well, don't mind if I do. And I just realized while looking in my treasure chest that I don't have any totems. And since this episode is about getting super rich, I'm going to need to make sure I have some of them. That is after I get a few more rockets. Let me just grab a few materials. And now I just need to go find myself a pillager outpost. And I haven't explored over this way yet, so hopefully we can find one soon. Whoa, what the heck? I just found a giant landfill. What the heck happened here? Looks like there was a giant earthquake. Hello, Mr. Creeper! Oh, I love broken portals. Please give me a golden apple. That is not the kind of gold I was hoping for. And I feel like I'm really close to a pillager outpost right now. I can just smell it. Oh, there actually is one right here. And there's a village right next to it. Hello, guys. Guys, you got anything good for me? Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good item. And I think right about here should be the perfect place to build this farm. And this pit right here is going to be where all the mobs from the pillager outposts come to burn. So then I should hopefully get tons of totems and emeralds from this. And the farm is finished, except I just have to add a villager right in here. Because he kind of needs to act as bait for the other mobs. And since there's a village right over here, I can grab one of these villagers. Uh, hello? Is anybody home? Okay, where the heck are all these guys? Ah, so we're all up here partying, aren't we? And I'm gonna see if I can get one of these guys to come with me. Hey, does anybody want a job? No? Okay. Just come right this way, guys. Whoa, whoa, these guys are trying to intercept my transportation here. Alright, come on. You have a personal bodyguard. What are you still afraid of? And... The farm is complete. And now we just have to get the bad omen effect. There we go. And now the raid is starting. So I should probably get down in my hidey hole. Oh my god. What the heck just happened? I guess I really need to keep a totem on me when I do these. Oh my gosh. Why did I almost just die there? I guess I should probably keep a block here so that the vexes can't get through. And after doing a couple of raids, I've got myself a ton of XP and even some totems, which are going to be really helpful so I don't die. Thank you, Mr. Villager. But now that I've got plenty of diamonds, gold, iron, and even totems, I should really be getting myself some netherite. So that way I can fully upgrade my armor and tools. I just have to dig down a bit and get myself 
up to Y level 20. And this is taking too long. There's got to be a better way to do this. But I'm going to need wool. Let me just make a quick sheep farm. And now I just need to find some sheep that I can add into the farm. Hopefully my villagers have been hard at work to make me some wheat. Uh, wait, why do I have all these carrots and potatoes and only 14 wheat? You guys need to pick it up in there. Ah, hello there. Do you guys remember me from earlier? Wait, why, why are they running away? Come on, guys, I got some nice wheat. Yo, are you hungry or what? I got a nice beachside villa over here for you. Can you just get... Can you just thank you? Thank you. Come on over, Mr. Sheep. I've got plenty of wheat for you. And don't ask me why your friend is bald. Come on. And now I just need one more of you guys. And it looks like those were the only two sheep around here. Oh, we found one. It looks like you brought a friend with you. Uh, who's going to get the room? Who's going to get it? Who is the dominant sheep? It kind of feels like I'm playing musical chairs. There we go. This, this guy isn't going anywhere, so I should probably make him a little spot too. And now I just have to wait to get myself some wool. Oh, hey, dang spiders. I was just trying to enjoy a little snack really quick. Jeez. But it looks like now we're starting to pick up quite a bit of wool, which I can start crafting into a bunch of beds. I can't even hold all these in my inventory. And now with all these beds, I should be able to find myself quite a bit of netherite. Yes, I finally found an ancient debris, but I'm going to need a lot more of these guys. Thank you. But after a few hours of mining, this should definitely be enough ancient debris for everything I need. And now I can upgrade all of my tools and armor. And I finally have full netherite armor and tools. Uh, what the heck? I think I accidentally just made a mob farm down there. Well, there are creepers down there, and I do kind of need some gunpowder. I actually just made myself a mob grinder down here. Oh, geez, there's actually a lot of you guys. No, 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 no. Ah, that one hurt. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. Go away. Go away, zombies. And somehow there's even a chicken down here. You need to get back up to the surface. I think he wants to be a cave chicken. And now that I've gotten full netherite armor and tools. Oh, why are you still out here? And even a decent collection of totems. I think the only thing I need now are some more of these golden apples. And if I want to be super rich, I'm going to need a lot more of those. Let me just make some boats. Uh, that might be a little too many boats. But now I'm going to search around for some shipwrecks to see if we can find any more golden apples. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll even find some desert or jungle temples. Okay, that is something I want to stay far away from. <clears throat> I just realized I literally have an elytra, so I don't have to use a boat. Please tell me there's a golden apple in here. Oh. Uh but I will take this gold block. And it looks like I found a desert village. Do villages even have golden apples? Hello, guys. Do you have any loot for me? Whoa, buddy. Um, I think you need a taller ceiling, my dude. And he left. Why are there so many villagers in this one house? I'm not going to ask any questions. But I am going to take all of this wheat. Thank you for that. And this village actually has a blacksmith. Aren't blacksmiths supposed to have good stuff? Oh, yeah, this isn't really exactly what I was looking for. And because I'm mad, I'm going to let these cows loose. Be free, little guys. That village had absolutely nothing useful. I'm just going to keep looking for a temple. Please give me a golden apple. Please give me a golden apple. That is not the golden apple I was hoping for, but I will take it. I guess it's better than nothing. I actually just found myself a nice mine shaft. And I have a feeling that there's going to be a golden apple in here somewhere. Guys, why is it so dark in here? Oh, holy guacamole. You guys almost just killed me. I could have sworn that these things are supposed to have chests in them. But instead, there's just mobs everywhere. Go away. Ugh. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck is in here? Another spider spawner? No, spiders be gone. Golden apples? Uh, no. And my inventory is already completely full of loot. I don't know if you would call this loot. But I'm going to put it in my shulker box for now. So that way I can hold more stuff. Hey, I found another village. I know that I haven't looted this one yet because there's still a bunch of food here. And after having a nice nap, I continued looting a bunch of different structures to get all different types of loot. And although I wasn't able to get any enchanted golden apples, I did get these three shulker boxes filled up with loot that I can go ahead and add into my whole treasure collection. And after these last 24 hours, I would say that I've become pretty rich in my new hardcore world. This is my base in my hardcore world, but it's kind of bland. So I'm going to transform the ocean next to it and build a giant aquarium filled with different types of fish, coral, and even other aquatic animals, all surrounded by a marina filled with sailboats. But I'm gonna need an absolute ton of materials. Ouch. Starting with a bunch of sand that I can Smelt into glass for the outer ring. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a little more than this, which is why I wanna build an automatic sand duper, which will basically give me an unlimited amount of sand. Let me just come over to my slime UFO and grab a few stacks of these bad boys. 
Bam. And I'm also going to need a few other materials. And the trickiest part about this duper is that we have to build it right at the end portal, which should be right under here. Now I just have to find the portal. Why is this always the hardest part? Here we are. And hopefully I brought some stone with myself so that way I can block up all of this lava because I really don't feel like burning to death from this project. And I should probably break out some room to build this duper. Oh my gosh, why are there silver fish everywhere? This is probably one of the most annoying mobs to ever exist. Can you guys please chill out a little bit there? And if I know what I'm doing, which I don't, I think I just have to remove some of these portal blocks which should be impossible, but oh my gosh, it worked. I just have to do this a few more times. Bam, that, that's weird looking. Now we just have to add in a bunch of complicated redstone stuff that hopefully will make sense in a minute. And if I add these slime blocks in right here, and I almost forgot to add all the sand in. There we go. Now, as long as I go turn on my chunk loader and then come over here to start the farm, this will hopefully get me some sand. And I should probably go to the end and check on that really quick. Okay, how the heck am I gonna get into this portal? Whoa, okay, this actually might be working. And it looks like I'm already getting a ton of sand coming in these chests. And the cool thing about this farm is that it actually produces about 72,000 items per hour. So... It's literally only been like five minutes. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is not being able to smell all of this sand because I only have these few furnaces right now. So let me just go build a mega super smelter really quick. This should smell all of the sand I could ever need. Wait, that is as soon as I get some fuel for these. Okay, I should definitely be good on coal for the rest of my life. And while I waited for this stuff to smell, I have to tell you guys that only a small percentage of you who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy, consider hitting that subscribe button. But now since I'm starting to get a ton of glass, I can get started on the next phase of this project, which is building the actual glass tank where all of the fish and animals will be. And this isn't going to be very easy, is it? Since I want to have a big donut shape for the aquarium, I have to build a circular enclosed tube so that way I can fit water inside. And I have a feeling that this is going to be way harder than I thought. And bam, this is crazy looking. And now we have an actual shape coming along with this thing. But the next thing I'm gonna have to do is just kind of go along the edges and fill this in with glass. So that way we can make an actual tube shape to fit in water and a bunch of ocean life. Okay, this is taking way more glass than I ever could have imagined. But luckily since I built that big sand duper, I shouldn't have any problem with running out of glass. And I think this is the perfect height for the aquarium. This thing is gonna look so sick when it's finished because I'm literally building it over the ocean. So now we just have to get back to building all of these walls up. And kazam! Whoa, whoa there, relax, please. I really don't need any phantoms hanging around here right now. You guys just kind of go back to wherever you came from, please. All right, I guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way. And I don't have my bow on me, do I? Let me just see if I can sleep these guys away. Burn, phantoms. But the next thing I have to do is not going to be very fun. Yeah, I basically have to fill this entire thing in with water buckets, which is probably gonna take me like 500 hours. Okay, there's gotta be a better way to do this. Wait a minute, I might actually have an idea. But in order for it to work, I think I'm gonna have to put a roof on the aquarium first. And now I just have to add in some of these water buckets like this. And hopefully this will work to fill this entire thing up with water. Okay, this is actually starting to look a little bit like an aquarium now. I'm literally swimming around in here. Okay, and I'm drowning. I'm drowning. How do I get out of here? Okay, I, that would have been embarrassing. But now I just have to figure out how to fill this aquarium with ocean life. And the first step to doing that is to find a coral reef filled with fish and coral. Oh, come on. There's got to be a coral reef somewhere around here. I'm literally flying over the ocean. Wait a minute. Houston, I think we found a coral reef. Yes. So now I can go through and harvest a bunch of different types of coral. Wait, why is the coral already dead? Uh, this is kind of ugly now. Oh, I need a silk touch pickaxe. Please tell me I have one. Please tell me I have one. Please, 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 please. please. Yes. So now I should be able to harvest coral in their actual colors. Oh my gosh, it worked. Thank you for that. And now I just need to get an absolute ton of this stuff. And is that a sunken ship I see over there? Please give me diamonds. Please give me diamonds. Please give me... Oh my goodness. Why would this be of any use to anybody? Okay, I have one more shot for some diamonds. <sighs> I just have really bad luck, I guess. But it looks like I have a few shulker boxes full of materials to fill my aquarium with. I just need to pick up a few extra things. Like some of this seagrass, some leaves and vines, and some lily pads. And now I can start placing these guys around the aquarium. Please don't die, okay? Oh, look, there they go. This is gonna be so so sick once it's finished. Okay, these are going to make my life a lot easier. I'll actually be able to breathe down here while I'm placing this coral. 
Now let me just add in some of these coral fans. And honestly, I don't really like how it looks from the outside, so let me just place some leaves to cover this up. Yeah, this is already starting to look much better, but I can't really keep the air breathing animals like dolphins and turtles down here because they'll probably drown. Oh, hey, what's up, little guys? So I definitely have to find somewhere I can put them. Please let me out. Please let me out. Please let me out. Oh my gosh, I got down to three and a half hearts. That was a little too close. Next time I have to make sure I drink my water potions, but I think I can make this area at the center of the aquarium into a marina with a bunch of sailboats and have small islands for the turtles and plenty of space for the dolphins to swim around in. But if I want to build a sailboat, I'm going to need a bunch of white wool. So this probably isn't going to be enough. And neither is this. Oh, what the heck? How did I get a purple sheep outside of here? Where did you even come from? I don't think I've ever died a purple sheep in this world. So I should probably get started on building a better wolf farm a little bit like this. It's just like magic. Now I just have to grab a bunch of wool and a few other materials. And now I've got a fully finished marina. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Let me start building my very first boat. Okay, actually, I might not be able to fit very many boats in here. I might need to change plans. I think it might work better if I put some sailboats out around here and add in islands for the turtles and dolphins to swim around on. Yeah, I think that's probably the best plan. Let me go grab some sand. And now I have to figure out how to actually build an island. I don't know if I've actually ever done this before, but I guess I should just probably start by making out a big shape. That pretty much looks like an island. Now let me just fill it in with some dirt so that way I can place a bunch of sand on top. And now I've got myself a pretty basic island shape. So let me just build a few more of these. Now those are some pretty nice looking islands, but they're kind of bland looking. So I really need to do some decorating around here. Let me just add in some palm trees. Yeah, that's looking pretty sick. I even added some coconuts onto my palm trees. But now the only thing that these islands are missing are some turtles. So I should probably go find some turtle eggs. Where am I supposed to find these? Oh, sick, a shipwreck. Uh, that is not turtle eggs, though. I'm just going to keep flying along the beach to see if I can find any, because I'm pretty sure that's where turtle eggs spawn. Ah, there we go. Hello, turtles. How are you guys doing today? Please give me some turtle eggs. Yes. I need a bunch of these. You guys are gonna have to speed it up. Thank you and thank you. And now I just wanna make sure that each island has a few eggs. And while I wait for these to hatch, I still have a lot of work I have to do, including building some sailboats around here. So let me just get started by building the base outline for a couple of sailboats. That should do the trick. I just added in all the bases for the sailboats and now is the hardest part, building the sails. This is probably gonna be a little more difficult than I'm expecting, but I'm pretty sure I just kinda have to build a triangle out of white wool. At least I think so. Wait, that actually came out to look so sick. Yeah, I can't believe I actually just built this. And I even tried to make it look kind of 3D to make it look like it's blowing in the wind. But now I have to build sails on the rest of these boats. And for whatever reason, I decided to build a gigantic ship over here. So I think for this one, I want to build a sail over here and then another sail over there towards the back. So this one is going to be twice as much work, but hopefully I'll be able to hold up the same shape as the first one. Whoa, whoa, it looks like we got some visitors over here. What the heck are you guys trying to do? Uh, I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, geez, I'm only on four hearts. Oh no. Okay, I need to get away from here. That hurt really bad, but at least the sails for this boat are really starting to come together. This thing goes up really tall though, so I should probably get myself back to building. And I actually think this ship is looking better than the first one. Yeah, this thing is kind of crazy, but now we just have to put sails on the last three boats, which really shouldn't take that much time because these are a lot smaller. And kazam. Yeah, this is really starting to look amazing since I've finished all five ships. I'm actually super happy with how all these came out, but now I just have to find the last few animals I need to add into the aquarium, which are some squids and dolphins. Hopefully I'll be able to find some around here somewhere and use these leads to take them back to the aquarium. Aha! Looks like I found some squids. You guys are coming with me, as long as I don't drown. Oh, hello, Mr. Dolphin. I would like to take you with me as well. Come here, please. All right, I think I got everybody. Now we just gotta go right under here, and welcome to your brand new home. C can, I, can I please get my leads back? So now I've completed the aquarium and filled it with all different types of aquatic animals and plants, and the build is finally complete. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I collected every armor trim that was just added into Minecraft 1.20 to put on display in my brand new armor trims museum. Wow. Starting with the sentry armor trim, which has a 25% chance of spawning in a pillager outpost. Hey guys, I'm looking for an armor trim. Oh gosh, why are there so many of you here? Go away. Dang, that was a lot of pillagers. Now let's see what we can find. Yes, we just got our very first armor trim. And with armor trims, I'm pretty sure I can actually duplicate them just by doing this. So now we have a set of four armor trims, which is just enough to apply to a netherite set of armor later on. 
And the next on the list is the Vex armor trim that spawns in a woodland mansion. So I want to see if one of my villagers can sell me a map really quick. Oh, what happened here? Why are all my villagers turned into zombies? Oh my gosh, every single one. Okay, well, that's kind of awkward. I guess I'm just going to have to fly around until I find one. One hour later. Houston, we have a woodland mansion. I'm just going to break in right from the ceiling up here. All right, where the heck are these chests at? Okay, there's just vindicators everywhere. Where on earth are all the chests in here? Okay, I'm going to stay out of that room. Oh, here we go. Uh, armor trims. Oh, you're not an armor trim. Oh, there she is. Bingo. Now we already have two out of the 16 armor trims that we need. And the next few trims that we need to find are going to be a little harder to get. The snout and rib trims can only be found in the nether. So I'm going to have to check some structures to find them. <laughs> I should probably grab my chest plate first. And I'm also going to be needing these. Now let's go find a bastion. I think a lot of the structures that are right around me have already looted. So I'm going to have to fly pretty far to find some fresh ones. Oh, hey, we just got an achievement. And we found a brand new bastion. And each of the chests in here have an 8% chance of spawning in the snout armor trim, which is actually one of my favorites. So hopefully we can find it. Let me put on my chest plate for this because there's a lot of stuff in here that wants to kill me. And there's already so many brutes in here. Hey, go away. Yeah, hopefully we can get this armor trim without getting killed by brutes. Oh, there's actually a chest right down there. I just got to get rid of some of these guys first. Go away. I'm just going to drop down and see what happens. Oh, you're all stuck in a hole. Haha. -ha. All right, let's see if we can get the armor trim. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't think we would get it on our first try. Might have to loot a few bastions to find it. Oh, geez. Let's see if we can find some more chests that'll maybe have some trims in them. Oh, another chest. Still no armor trims. Honestly, I'm just starting to think that maybe this bastion doesn't have one of these. Go away. I need to open this chest. Come on. Wait a minute. There's another part of the bastion up here. How did I completely forget about this? Where's the chest at? Oh, my goodness. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. There's like 30 brutes in there. This is gonna be pretty hard. What if I just block this off? Now you guys won't be able to see me. Now let's see if we can get some trims. Still no armor trims. Oh, hey, netherite. Go away. Let's see what we can get. Ooh, a netherite smithing template. Minecraft actually changed the way that you can make netherite armor. So I'm going to need a bunch of those. But since I still haven't found the snow armor trim, I'm just gonna have to keep searching more bastions. Eureka, I found another one. Oh, there she is. Finally, that one took me a really long time to find. But at least I also got a ton of loot to go along with it. And I just have to find another fortress around here somewhere. Here we go. Hey, have any of you guys seen an armor trim around here? Okay, I'm guessing the answer to that is no. This one is pretty rare and only has a 6.7% chance of spawning. That is if I can even find any chests around here. Okay, don't kill me for doing this, but... I'm sorry, I had to. Okay, this is a really tiny fortress and doesn't even have any chests. So I'm going to need to find a new one. Well, that was easy. Hopefully this one actually has some chests in it. Here we go. And no armor trim. No, 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 no. I think it's time to find fortress number three. All right, fortress number three. I hope you have some armor trims in here. Please give me an armor trim. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. I literally had to search five fortresses for this. Oh, I am pretty much out of diamonds. Yeah, this is not going to be enough. So I think it's probably about time I do some some diamond hunting. That is a lot of diamonds. But now I shouldn't have a problem duplicating all these armor trims. And these next two armor trims I'm going to have to find are in the ocean. Dang it, I wish I could take one of these boats out. <laughs> Anyways, I have to be on the lookout for a shipwreck because that's where I'll find the coastal armor trim. Oh, here's one. And it's already looted. Okay, I was wrong. Finding a shipwreck that I haven't looted yet is kind of difficult. Oh, there we go. Please have an armor trim. Well, that was a flop. I guess I'm just going to have to keep searching until I find a ship that I haven't looted. Well, maybe the third time's a charm. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. And honestly, while I'm in the ocean, I should also start looking around for a guardian temple. Because for one of the trims, we're going to have to kill a mob. Okay, if I were an elder guardian, where would I be? Probably not on land with this village. But I need to see this camel. Hello there. Oh my gosh, this dude is sick looking. Okay, okay, back to the ocean. I spy with my little eye a temple. Wait, I don't even know if I've ever fought one of these. What am I even supposed to do here? Now, I'm going to make sure that I have some of these for the fights. And I'm also going to need some TNT, so that way I can actually break into the temple. And I should also probably put on my chest plate. All right, here goes nothing. So I actually don't think I've ever fought the Elder Guardian before. So this is probably going to be really hard. I think I just have to blow up this area right here. Okay, why did that not work? Let me try this. Oh, that worked. I can get in now. Okay, maybe I should eat a golden apple before I do this. I wish I had a trident right about now. That would be kind of helpful. Oh! Oh, we didn't even get the armor trim. Dang it, dude. Well, I'm pretty sure that there's two other guardians that spawn in here. That is if these elder guardians will leave me alone. Wow, I am literally getting demolished. All right, where is this elder guardian at? Aha, please drop me an armor trim this time. 
Oh, man, we still didn't get it. Okay, these guys hurt. I need to do this quickly and get away from these guys. Wait, I'm so confused. I don't think a third guardian ever spawned. Yeah, that was not very lucky, was it? We finally got it. Yes. I am so tired of fighting guardians. I am ready to put my elytra on and fly right out of here. I am so relieved I finally have it. And can we get an enchanted golden apple from this? No, no, we cannot. Let's just add this into our collection. That is as soon as I duplicate this armor trim. Ooh, I kind of made eight of them by accident. Whoops. And I also want to duplicate the coast armor trim that I got. And now the museum is almost halfway full. This is going to be so epic when it's done. And the next two armor trims I have to find are only found on land, which should give me a break from the ocean. So we're going to have to head into the jungle and find a temple because that's where we'll find the wild armor trim. And honestly, I'm pretty worried about finding one of these temples because they're super rare. So this might be a pretty long journey. And I think I just reached the end of the jungle. Nice. So let me just go find a new one. Wait a minute. I know this isn't a jungle temple, but this is a desert pyramid, which can hold the eye armor trim. And it hasn't been looted yet, which is a good sign. Ouch. Now let's see if we can find an armor trim. Oh, why isn't the armor trim in here? Well, at least we tried. But while we're in the desert, I'm just going to keep looking for more pyramids. Because there's only a 14% chance of finding one. Yeah, all I'm finding right now is desert villages. This is going to be a pretty hard trim to find. But Mr. Camel, you are so cool looking. Oh, maybe we'll find one in here. Come on, please give me that armor trim. And... It's not in here either. Oh, this one's hidden. Yeah, this is definitely gonna have the armor trim in it. I can just feel it. How did that not activate the pressure plate? Oh, those are the dune armor trims, baby. Finally, that only took me three hours. And now we just have to find a jungle temple, which honestly I think are much more rare than the desert temples. And it looks like we already found a jungle. Wait, this isn't a jungle. This is a mangrove swamp, a really big mangrove swamp. Oh my goodness. And I'm running really low on rockets. Please tell me I have some in here. Oh, thank gosh. All right, let's go find this wild armor trim. Oh, there's one right here hidden in the bamboo. I actually almost missed this one. I haven't been in a jungle temple in so long. Oh my God. Wait, there could be one in this hidden chest over here. Oh, still no armor trims. I will take these sticky pistons though. I guess we're just gonna have to keep searching around the jungle. Oh, there's a cute little panda right there. Oh, I think he needs some bamboo. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And wait, I haven't even tried crafting the new bamboo wood. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And I'm pretty sure that we can craft this into planks. Oh, it works. Yeah, I love my brand new bamboo house. Oh, there she is. Please, please, please. Yes. No way we actually got this on our second try. I did not think we'd be getting this that quickly. And oh my gosh. Did we really just find two of these in one temple? That is that is kind of crazy. I don't know why I expected that to take me so much longer. But I guess we got really lucky with the jungle temples. Okay, but now I can add even more armor trims into my museum. Wait a minute. How do you duplicate the wild trims? Oh, thank gosh I grabbed some of this. Oh, that is a little bit too many. And wait, that didn't work either. Maybe I need to try some sandstone. There we go. And now I have two more armor trims to add in. So the museum is officially halfway complete. I just have to add in the remaining eight armor trims right over here and the next two i'm gonna be hunting for are pretty intense yeah we're heading to the end baby i'm actually going to need to find a brand new stronghold for this so let me head over this way a little bit this should be far enough and hopefully when i pop one of these eyes it'll take me to a brand new stronghold i haven't been to before and i think it should be right around here yeah i'm breaking the very first rule of minecraft don't dig down and the first armor trim we're looking for should actually be in the stronghold somewhere oh we actually found the portal already i will be right back there's actually a 100 percent chance of finding the eye armor trim well that was easy and there actually is an armor trim that spawns in the end itself let me just head right through the gateway ouch i totally missed that and now we gotta find a fresh new end city yo end city Cities, where are you at? And the chests in the end cities have a 6% chance to hold the spire armor trim. So let's see if we can find one. Oh, here's an end city. That is not what I was looking for. That's actually a really good chest plate. Dang you, shulkers. Okay, but I'm just gonna have to keep searching for more end cities. Whoa, well, that was easy. Let's check the end ship first. I don't know. I just have a really good feeling about this. And there's still nothing. This is gonna be a long day, isn't it? And still no luck. And the search continues. Okay, I have a feeling this is gonna be the one. <gasps> Yes! Yes! I literally went through like five elytras to find that. That took way too long. Let me just add these into the museum. And I still can't believe just how much loot I was able to get. I literally have so many elytras now and a ton of extra armor and tools. And the next two armor trims are probably the hardest in the game. I am not looking forward to this. And I'm gonna need a specific enchant for this one. 
Yeah, we're heading into an ancient city. So let me break out the big guns. And hopefully I won't need to use any of these, but it's good to have just in case. Oh, and I'm also going to need some wool. That should do the trick. That way, hopefully the wardens won't be able to hear me. Now let's go find ourselves an ancient city. <clears throat> I kind of forgot how to find these. What am I even looking for? I did find one closer to my base, but I know that one won't have any trims in it. So we're going to have to fly really far. I think I'm just going to have to search around in a cave until I find one. Oh, I see Skulk. Come on. It's about time I find one of these. Um, what did I just do? Okay, last time I checked, this is not a good sign. I'm pretty sure I just spawned in a warden and I can't see anything. That was not supposed to happen. But hey, there's actually chests over here. Armor trims? Oh my god, I just spawned in another one. And the thing about the silence armor trim is that it only has a 1% chance of spawning. So my chances of finding it here are very slim. Oh no, not another warden. Okay, I think I'm gonna hang out over on the other side of the ancient city for now. I think I probably spawned in like three wardens at this point. Yeah, this is not very efficient, is it? Okay, but there's so many shriekers over here. As long as I don't go off the wool, I should be fine. Um, second note, I don't think I'm fine. Ah, uh, still nothing. Still no trims. Um, I feel really unsafe in here. I should probably fly away now. Okay, hopefully he doesn't see me. Wait, wardens can't even see. Hopefully he doesn't smell me. I think there's one more chest that I haven't searched right over there. So I'm just going to try and check it really quick. Yeah, I don't know why I had hope in that. And I just realized I don't have a totem equipped. I must be the stupidest hardcore player ever. Why am I in an ancient city without a totem? Oh, hello there. I'm just gonna head back over this way. I am so scared right now. Okay, I think that's probably my cue to leave. Okay. I have one heart. Oh my gosh, I need to land somewhere safe right now. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh. I got down to one heart staring a warden in the eyes. Uh, actually, the warden still doesn't have any eyes. And although the silence armor trim only has a 1% chance, we still have a 5% chance of finding the ward armor trim which could be somewhere up here. Oh, wait, there's actually no way I just got this. Yes, but honestly, I think we might've gotten all the chests. Oh, wait, except for this one. Silence armor trim. Ah, uh, no, just a warden. Oh my god. Wait, I think we just got the silence trim. I cannot believe I found that. Oh, I'm so excited to get back to my base. And I actually got a ton of loot from that, including three ward armor trim. I am still so surprised that we were able to find that. I thought that was probably going to take me a few days. Let me just add these into the museum. And now we're down to the last four armor trims that we need, which is pretty exciting. Let me just put my golden apples back. And I actually have two more apples to add into the mix. There we go. And for the next few trims, I'm going to need one of these. Wow. What the heck? We're gonna have to go find an archaeological dig site to find the last four trims. Yeah, this might actually be a little harder than I thought. And these can actually only be found in select biomes. And I'm pretty sure the birch forest is one of them. So let's see if we can find anything abnormal looking. Oh, that looks a little abnormal to me. I actually think this is a trail ruin. So I'm pretty sure if I take the brush... Oh wait, this isn't the right type of gravel. Hold on a second. I have to find gravel that looks a little bit different than this. Just like this. And if I brush this, what did we get? Oh, a pottery shard. I'm pretty sure that we can craft pots with those. But right now, we need to try and find some armor trims. And we're looking for the Wayfinder, Shaper, Host, and Razor armor trims, which all have around an 8% chance to be found in Suspicious Gravel. And I'm pretty sure that the trail ruins are actually massive. So hopefully we can find all four right in this ruin. But there's so many random blocks around here. Oh! That is an armor trim. What do we get? It looks like we got the Host armor trim. That's one down, three to go. So I think to find the last two trims, I'm going to have to go find another ruin. Oh, I might have found something, but there are mobs everywhere. I need to sleep really quick. That is much better. Let's see if we can find the razor and the shaper armor trims here, because these are the final two that I need for my entire collection. That is definitely a trim. What is it going to be? Oh, we got the razor armor trim. So it looks like we only have one more to go, and that is the shaper trim. So hopefully we can find it somewhere in here. Ah, oh, it's just another razor trim. Whoa, no way. How'd that get there? That is totally weird. Oh, we're getting a trim. We're getting a trim. Yes, we got it. That is the last armor trim I needed to complete my collection. Booyah. And now that the museum is fully complete with all the trims, I just need to get 16 sets of netherite armor. So that way I can put them all on display. So that equals out to around four stacks of ancient debris, which is far too much to mine by hand. So that's why I'm going to build one of these. Oh, 
Okay, this thing actually just blew itself up. Yeah, that doesn't look good. But this thing actually made a giant tunnel throughout the nether. This literally goes on for like a million blocks. But there is a ton of netherite visible now. Okay, but we definitely need a few more of these. I'm starting to think that crafting 16 sets of netherite armor might actually be impossible because basically after two days of netherite mining, I was only able to craft four sets. So I think instead I'm going to use some armor that I got from the end cities to craft all of the sets into diamond armor. Maybe one day I can upgrade these to full netherite. There are 79 mobs in Minecraft, so I decided to challenge myself to collect them all within 24 hours to add into my giant collection at my base. Starting off with the easier passive mobs, working my way up to the most challenging hostile mobs. So first we definitely need to get some of the basic animals, including a chicken. Alright, come on right this way, Mr. Chicken. And yes, we got our very first mob. Now we only have 78 more to go. So let me just finish up getting the main passive mobs, like a pig, sheep, no, not all of you. I only needed one. A cow, a wolf, no, do not eat that sheep, and all four types of fish. Oh, and we're gonna need a villager, except all of mine turned into zombies? Oh, are you kidding me right now? And while I wait for you to turn into a normal villager, I guess I can also move a zombie villager into my collection as well. Ow, dude, you're gonna kill me. Can you chill? Ow, this really hurts. Okay, I think I'm gonna try this a different way. Right this way, sir. Okay, looks like you brought a friend. Nice. Come on, right this way. Yep, there we go. And luckily I got a bunch of name tags from my last video. So let's give this guy a name. Let's see if we have a villager over here. Yup, there he is. Haha, <laughs> you guys can't get him now. Alright, go to the composter, go to the composter. There we go. Alright, you guys look like you're pretty happy in here. So we better get started on bringing over some more mobs. And I think it's about time we work on some of the nether mobs. Which is going to take up these 11 stalls right here. And just to make it easier to travel, I'm going to set up a nether portal right over here. Oh, there we go. We already got our very first nether mob. Alright, good sir, right this way. Oh, I can't go through a portal with a boat, can I? Oh, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Okay, it's probably about time I set up a railway. Oh, it worked. Come on, get in. Ugh. Okay, or just walk right into the stall. Yeah, that works too. And now we got our very first nether mob. And I have a feeling the rest of the mobs are going to be a lot harder. Okay, there's a lot of piglins over here. Okay, that almost killed me. And I don't even have that many rails on me. And now I just got to make the longest roller coaster ever. And off we go. All right, buddy, right in here. Go away. It's not your turn yet. Well, luckily, I found a fortress right by the portal that I'm using. So hopefully, we'll be able to get some mobs from here. Oh, give me diamonds. Give me diamonds. Give me di Okay, I've already looted this. Aha. That looks like something we might need. Let me just make another railway. And now I just got to figure out how the heck to transport a blaze. This is probably going to be near impossible. But I think as long as I link up to this track up here, it should be smooth sailing once we get one of these guys in a minecart. Oh, gosh. All right, looks like this guy wants to get in a minecart. And there goes a totem. All right, hopefully this works. Okay, I just got to give this guy a little bit of a push here. And there we go. We have a blaze incoming and he's literally still shooting fireballs at me. Very nice. Ouch, 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 ouch. All right, come on right in here. Get, get in there. And please do not shoot any fireballs. Come on, man. Not cool. I'm actually going to add in some glass around his habitat because I don't want him shooting fireballs at me or his neighbors. Yeah, that should do the trick. Man, that guy was difficult. But now we already have four of the nether mobs that we need. So we just need a few more. And now I have all the nether mobs. So I should probably get the rest of the overworld mobs that I need. And since there's a jungle right next to my base, I should be able to easily pick up an ocelot. And now I just need to find a couple parrots. So it turns out parrots are actually super rare to find. And they only have a 0.2% chance of spawning. So this might take me a little longer than I thought. But I have to find all five colors. So I think first I'm going to go find a bigger jungle biome. Please tell me this jungle has parrots. Oh wait, there's one right here. Hello, buddy. There we go. Now I just need the rest of the four colors. 
Okay, that took a while. And there we go. That's all five parrots. So I think I'm going to fly back to that same jungle and see if we can find a panda. And that'll be the last jungle mob that we need. Eureka! Now, the only problem is we're really far from my base. So it's probably about time I set up a rail system. And luckily, I have a ton of rails. At least I really hope that this is enough. First, I just need to make sure I put this guy in a boat because I really don't want to lose him. Wait a minute. Do these guys not fit in boats or rail carts? This might be a problem. Oh, there we go. All right, now you just hang tight there for a little while. I have to make the biggest roller coaster of my life. And we finally have a panda bear. This took forever. And now I just have a giant railway to clean up. But in the meantime, I'm going to be needing one of these. Right this way, little fella. And after getting these guys back to their pens, I decided to run through some of the other nearby mobs that I forgot earlier. Like the fox, a horse, a rabbit, a cat, llama, and a donkey. And now there's six more mobs added into the collection. And wait, I just almost forgot that if I breed a donkey and a horse together, I can get myself a mule, which is another mob that I need for my collection. And I guess since it's nighttime, I can grab some hostile mobs that I need as well. All right, where's all the monsters at? Oh, we got a spider and a skeleton over here. Why is this guy glowing orange? Damn, this spider is really trying to get me right this way. First, I need to build a ceiling so this guy doesn't escape. Now I just need to patch this up. Ow, ow. I'm on heavy heart. Okay, you literally almost just killed me. Okay, this guy is finally trapped. That was way harder than I expected. Okay, I could also use you two in my collection as well. On one condition, please don't blow up. I wonder if putting the creeper in a boat makes this so he can't blow up. Okay, please work. Now, if I get in the boat... Oh, yeah, I don't think that was what was supposed to happen there. How did I not even take any damage? Uh, I think I'm just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Are you kidding me? Man, this just blew up part of the mob hall. I think the best way to do this is probably with a rail system because creepers are really uncooperative. Now I just have to be able to lure a creeper into a minecart. Yes, that just means we have to hook up this track right here. Now I just got to give this guy a push. Hopefully he'll step on these trap doors and then we can get him. Oh no, that is not where he's supposed to be. Oh, thank gosh. I am so glad that we finally have the creeper trapped. And I'm actually just remembering that there's a ton of mobs that we can get from the raid. So the plan is to start a raid and then get all the mobs we need into boats. And then from there, I can transfer them one by one to the hall of mobs. Yeah, I think that's a pretty cool name for it. Now, where the heck is that pillager outpost? All right, first let's get a main pillager. And then I'm also gonna try and grab a witch. Please get in the boat. I basically have all these mobs in boats. And now I just got to figure out how to trap a Ravager. I'm pretty sure I can do a railway cart just like this. And now I just have to get you guys back to my base. Which means it's time to build another gigantic roller coaster. All right, are you guys ready to go to your new home? And I just need to break your boat and try to get him into a minecart. Hey, that worked. Now let's just send this guy on his way. And that's all the raid mobs. But I'm already about halfway through the challenge and I still have around 40 more mobs to go. So I think next I should probably tackle a lot of the aquatic mobs like the dolphin, sea turtle, frogs, and even guardians. And turtles and dolphins should be really easy since I built this aquarium a couple videos ago. But where did I put all of those leads that I had? There they are. Dolphins grace is literally the best thing ever. But the only problem is I can't really bring a dolphin onto land. Can you just wait here for one second? So it looks like I'm building a river through my base. Yeah, this should do the trick. Now I just have to make a pen that's dolphin safe, which basically means it's going to hold a lot of water. And Mr. Turtle, you're next. Why can I not get a turtle on a lead? So instead, I'm just going to silk touch one of these turtle eggs. So then I can just put the turtle egg right in the pen like this. And hopefully in a couple of minutes, we'll have a turtle. I really need to find an azalea tree somewhere. There it is. And I really need one of these so I can find a lush cave. What the? So that way I can get an axolotl. It's just another mob that I need for my collection. I guess I can also grab a squid. Can't believe I just got a squid in a minecart. Let me see if I can link this up. Now I just got to give this guy a push. Oh, I got to get him in water before he dies. Okay. Let's try that again. I'm just going to try by filling up the track with some water. And hopefully this will keep the squid alive for the journey. Oh, I think it's working. It's working. Now we got ourselves a squid. That one was not easy. And while I have this whole thing set up, I think I'm also going to go Go get a glow squid. Okay, please work, little squid. Ah, uh, thank gosh you can have rails underwater. 
And now for the hostile aquatic mobs, I have to get a guardian. But since I can make a railway system underwater, this shouldn't be nearly as hard as it was for Sandiction. And there actually happens to be a temple right by my base. So I should be able to find a guardian pretty quickly. And I'm definitely gonna make sure that I have some water breathing potions for this because I really don't feel like drowning. Now I just have to get started on building this railway. The only thing is I really have to make sure that a lot of these are powered rails or else the minecart isn't really going to move. So now I just got to get one of these guys in a minecart. And I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to do this. We're getting so close. I think I can get this guy. I just need him to move a little bit closer to me. Come on, just a little closer. I think the best way to do this is just to make the whole floor rails and wait until one of them comes over. Yes, I finally got one. Okay, now I just have to get you connected to the other rail track. That is without dying from these other guys. All right, now I just got to give this guy a little bit of a push. And actually, I just forgot that I didn't set up a pen for this guy. So I should probably do that really quickly before he makes it over to the base. Okay, this should do the trick. Let me just add some water in here. I forgot to link this part of the rail up. Let me just get this guy in water while I fix this. Wait, how the heck is he getting away? All right, there we go. This should give him the last push he needs. And we got him. Okay, I take it back what I said about all the other mobs. This one was by far the hardest. And let me just make sure I put a name tag on him because I definitely don't want to have to get another one of these guys. And I'm going to save the bosses for a separate video, so I'm not going to be getting the Elder Guardian or any of the others just yet. But I do need a Drowned. Hopefully there will be one somewhere around here so I can just put it on this railway and send it back to the base. There you are. Do I really need to bring this down a block for you. Man, drowns are so lazy. Come on, get in the mine cart, you idiot. There we go. Please don't drown. Wait, please don't suffocate. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But we still actually have around 20 more mobs to collect, so we better get back to work. And some of these mobs are going to be really tricky to get back to the base. And I think a good place to start is with some of the mobs that live in the end, like the Endermen, Endermites, and Shulkers. Hopefully my stronghold isn't too far away, because that's definitely where I have to build a railway system to. And since the nearest new stronghold with a silver fish spawner is about 5,000 blocks away. Building this rail system took me over three hours, which really set me back in the 24 hours challenge. So hopefully I can make it in time to get the last few mobs. So with just a couple hours left, I should probably try to get a silver fish, which really shouldn't be too hard with one of these. <clears throat> Actually, why are they not spawning? Does it have to be dark in here or something? Oh, there we go. We just got a couple. Hopefully we can just lure them over here into a mine cart. Get in there, please. Oh, we got one. And now I just got to give them a little push and hopefully we get a silverfish back to our base. And I actually tested the railway system and it's about a 20 minute ride, which is pretty much insane. But hopefully everything goes to plan. So with just a couple of hours left, I should probably get started on some of those other end mobs. And since we're going into the end where I haven't set up any railway systems yet, hopefully this will be enough materials. Let me just grab some extra elytras and plenty of rockets. And I also want to make sure I have plenty of blocks because this is going to be a big project. And now I can head into the end and get the last couple of mobs that I need. I'm just going to break this because silverfish are kind of annoying. But the first mob to get should be really easy, and that's an enderman. And setting up a rail system should be really easy. I just have to add an activator rail like this, and now I just have to get an enderman into a minecart. That was really easy. Now let me just link this to the other rail, just like this. And if I give this guy a little bit of a push, he should go right through the portal. Oh my gosh, it worked. We ended up right at the world spawn instead of the stronghold, which means we're really close to the mob hall. All I have to do is link up this track like this. Hopefully this will take him right into the hall of mobs. And just to make sure that he doesn't teleport, I'm probably just going to leave him in the minecart for now. But now we have ourselves an enderman. Oh... Oh no. Now let's go get ourselves a shulker. So for this, we're definitely gonna have to head into the end gateway, which is probably going to make this mob a little harder to get, but hopefully we can find one. So the trick is to find an end city that I haven't really looted yet, because that's where we'll be able to find some shulkers at. And I'm just realizing now that I'm going to have to build a giant roller coaster all the way back to that end gateway. So hopefully there's an end city not too far from here. Aha! Now I just need to get one of these guys in a minecart, which is probably gonna be really hard because they might make me levitate. Oh my gosh, I'm so afraid right now. I feel like this is going to be basically impossible. And I'm levitating again. Wait a minute. There's actually an end gateway right next to the city. Okay, this has to be the luckiest thing I've ever seen. Hopefully, we can just push him in the minecart. Yes. Now, if only I could stop teleporting around here. I think first I'm going to set up a railway system right into here. So that way we can get him to the main end island. I'm just going to use powered rails so that I can make this as quick as possible. Because I really just want to get the heck out of here so I stop teleporting. Wait, why can I not push him? I think I'm going to try by using a button to see if that works. Yeah, this is still not working. Why won't he move? Wait, I want to see if I get into a mine cart and push him. Then maybe he'll be able to move. Oh my gosh, it worked. Now I just have to make it through. 
Now I just have to make it through. And here's our shulker. I just got to get him up to the top here like this. And I'm going to do the same thing I just did by getting myself in a minecart first. And then just using that to push him up. And hopefully it'll go right through the portal. Yes. Oh, wait. He came out of his minecart. That was not supposed to happen. Now I just got to give him a little push. Come on, get up the ramp. Okay, we're going to need powered rails for this, aren't we? Hopefully this will do the trick. And I'm also going to leave this shulker in a minecart as well because I really don't want him to teleport around either. But I do have to make sure I give you a name. There we go. And now we got a shulker, which means there's only one more end mob to get, which is the endermite. So it seems like endermites have a 5% chance of spawning when you throw an ender pearl in the end. So I'm pretty much just going to have to go collect a ton of ender pearls. Let me just swap out my chest plate and build a quick little enderman trap. And now I just need to throw a bunch of ender pearls. Wait a minute, I think an endermite just spawned, but these guys killed him. Why would you do that? I needed him. Hey, we got one. And we should be good. Hopefully no Endermans get to him. Oh my gosh, they really hate Endermites, don't they? Every time that I send an Endermite through the portal, an Enderman follows him and kills him. I'm going to try and see if I can spawn an Endermite into the overworld. Yes, we got one. And thank gosh we could actually get one of these guys in the overworld because that was really hard. But that marks all of the End Dimension mobs finished. So I don't have to take any more trips back to the portals. Wait a minute. Actually, I'm forgetting something. There's still quite a few mobs that I have left and one of them is actually a mob that i forgot to get earlier when i was in the nether i completely forgot about getting a ghast so i kind of have to go back and get one of those which is not going to be easy so since ghasts are super annoying i think i'm first going to make sure i have plenty of space to keep them in a pen and i'm even going to add a giant nether portal right into the pen because that should make everything a lot easier and i guess i should also make sure that there's no flammable blocks so let me just fill this all in with glass and now for the hardest part getting a gas to spawn fit inside a minecart and go through this portal. And of course, we get a spawn over a lava lake. Let me just make this portal a little bigger first. And I think the best way to do this is just to make a giant room where a ghast can spawn. So then it'll be easier to trap. Oh, how I hate the nether. Oh, there's a ghast already here. Wait a minute, I'm not ready for you. Well, I guess that didn't really go as planned. The whole idea is to build a giant room so that the ghast is enclosed. I want to see if I can move this guy with a fishing rod. And hopefully try to get him onto some rails. Come on, get in the cart. Okay. Wait, he's in the minecart. He's in the minecart. Okay. Okay, let me put a chest plate on for this. And I'm going to have to set up some powered rails really quickly, just like this. Bruh. We were so close. I'm just gonna pretend that that didn't take me over an hour to do. Ah, that was really hard. But this leaves me in a really tricky position because I now only have two hours to get all the rest of the mobs. And I still have around 13 or 14 to go. And a lot of the mobs that I have left are just kind of randomly scattered around the world in a bunch of different biomes, including the camel, which is going to be in a desert that I haven't been to yet because this world was not made in 1.20. Hey, there he is. What up, Mr. Camel? I just gotta grab some of this cactus and I should be able to tame him with that and there we go and i think it's way quicker to just ride the camel home instead of making a rail system next i need to find a mountain goat which i don't even think i've seen one in this world yet because i live next to a savannah biome so that's not a good sign but let's head over this way into the mountains wait a minute you're not a mountain goat why did that actually just trick me that looks familiar. I've completely forgot that I have a railway system going this way. And since it's starting to get colder over here. Aha. Oh my gosh, there's a baby goat. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I hate this kind of snow. I should probably get this goat and get out of here before I freeze to death. Let's see if we can get a lead on them. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. Sorry, I know the water's really cold, but we're almost there. Let me just alter this track a little bit. And please tell me I have a minecart. Thank gosh. Now I just got to get this little guy into a minecart. Just like that. And he should hopefully end up back at my base. And I guess while I'm here, I should also grab a polar bear. Hey, how you doing? Okay, why do I feel like this guy is kind of mad at me? Please don't eat me. Come on, why are you so fat? And we got ourselves a polar bear. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about a sniffer. Yeah, I completely forgot since they were just added into the game. Oh my gosh, my world is pretty much griefed with tracks going everywhere. There is no way. The very first sand that I checked just gave me a sniffer egg. Finally, something good happens to me in this game. 
Wait a minute, it's raining. This is perfect because I need a skeleton horse. I think they spawn in thunderstorms. Wait, hold on. I see one. I see one. Oh, oh. Hold up. What is all that? Come on, go away. Come on, I do not need to die to a skeleton horse right now. Wait, can I tame this guy now? Oh, thank gosh. And of course, I don't have a saddle with me. All right, there we go, Arvin. Welcome to your new home. Now, let me just grab some iron and some snow. So then I can make a couple of golems. All right, we got less than an hour. So I have to start moving quickly to grab a couple more of these mobs. I know I can easily get in a lay from the raid tower that I went to earlier. And I already have a rail track set up. Oh, no, no, do not kill the LA. No, get out of here. Come on, in the mine carts. And now the LA is in route. But I really need to get the other hostile mobs that spawn in the desert and snow biome. I'm pretty sure that they're called the husk and the stray. And since the sun is starting to set, I think I should probably make my way into a desert to go find one. I'm pretty sure this is what we're looking for. And to save a bunch of time, I think I'm just going to try and lure him back to the base. Oh, hey, we got two of them. Come on, it's daytime. You're going to burn soon. And while I wait for it to be nighttime again to get the stray, I'm going to grab some of the other mobs really quickly, like a a frog, a slime from my slime farm. I also need to start setting up a phantom trap and I think I can just set up a little area and place down some cobwebs. And now once it gets dark, we should be able to trap a phantom and move him into the hall of mobs. But with only around 15 minutes left, I'm just realizing that I haven't got myself a mushroom yet. And the worst part is I don't even think I found a mushroom island in this world yet. So I have no idea where to go. May or may not be using chunk map for this one. This actually wasn't too far away from my base. And here are the beautiful mushrooms. But after realizing that I most likely didn't have the time to travel a bunch of blocks back to my base. I think it would just be best to trap this guy in his very own enclosure here. Let me just get some of these mushroom blocks and build this guy his very own home. Alright, Mr. Mushroom, I made you the best house ever. Come on in, buddy. Let me just make sure I give him a name. And we've trapped ourselves a mushroom, but we're still not finished. Oh, we got one. I just got to get this guy in a boat somehow. We got him in a boat. Now we just need to make it into the Hall of Mobs without getting blown up. Oh my goodness. I need to quickly build a little enclosure that I can get him out of the boat in and try to get him into a minecart. Alright, let's see if this works. Let me just send a minecart in there and hopefully this will pick him up. Come on, please get into the minecart. Okay, I'm starting to think that the boat is probably the better option here because this guy really doesn't want to get into a minecart and i only have a minute and a half left to get this guy into the hall of mobs oh we're almost there we're so close let me just make sure i close up this pen that was super close i actually don't even know how we managed to pull that off and now i just have to grab a few of the mobs i wasn't able to get within the 24 hours and this project is finally complete please subscribe